11.01, I have a ravishing hunger. The Raving Rabbits, remember that video game? I don't think I pronounced it right or said the game right, but that's how I feel. I went into work today, I had a one o'clock shift to nine, but I got, I got off at like 8.30. I didn't get home until 12. Wait, I'm lying. It's not even 12. I didn't get home till like 10. I don't know what's going on with the bus schedule, but again, it was a 30 minute wait for my bus to come down on a Monday. Sundays is expecting, it's expected. Fridays is expected, Saturdays is it's expected. But a Monday, question mark. So I took a lift home. I spent $11 on a lift. Who has lift money? This girl. This is my first time talking to you and I've missed you, so hi. I'm making sweet potatoes. I'm gonna eat it with rice, avocado. I woke up kind of, I didn't wake up late, but I woke up with enough time to get ready for work and then go to work. Then I get a chance to like settle into my day. And I was really exhausted because of that. I mean, I was really exhausted because I went to sleep late. But like, you know, you can't just merge into being awake and then you go on into work and you feel extra tired or snoozy. That's that's exactly what it was. So I get into work. I didn't eat. I didn't even I didn't even have a moment to eat breakfast before going to work, which always you can't go into a food service job without eating because you're gonna be running around for your life the whole nine hours that you're there. I thought it was gonna be a bad start of my day, a bad like vibe going into my day. I did have a bad day. I actually had like a really good and confident, subtle day for my first day of working in a new I mean I'm really it's really easy for me to work in new environments. Like I'm very I adapt like this. I adapt so quickly and most jobs are the same. Most jobs are the same, especially if you're in food service or any type of service, hospitality job. They're so similar and it's so easy to catch on what's going on and what's happening. My 30 minute lunch came around. 30 minutes, 30 minute lunch. It's my least favorite thing about working period. Why is our lunch 30 fucking minutes? By the time I clock out, sit down, five minutes is gone, 25. Plus I have to get up and clock back in. That's another five minutes gone. I have a 20 minute break. By the time you go, to eat into your food, your lunch is over. So my lunch came around, I was really hungry. I'm gluten free and it's not exactly a choice. Like if I wasn't gluten free, my health would take a toll. So I'm like searching around or like questioning what am I gonna eat leading up to my lunch. There's not much for me to eat. So I grab, my job sells like random retail snack foods. So I grabbed like a bag of pickles. Not like, you know, like sliced with pickles. Their little slogan is like, the snack you can eat in 60 seconds or the snack you can eat in a minute or whatever. Cause it's like a grab and go type of thing. I ate pickles, some pistachios that were, not pistachios, I wish they were pistachios. I fucking love pistachios. Cashews that had some pomegranate business going on and I love fruit with salty. I love like a fruit salty business. So good. It reminded me of, uh, what did it remind me of? I can't remember at this very moment, but when I was sitting there eating it, I was like, oh, this is hitting just like this and now it's gone. So I apologize for bringing it up in the first place. But I had that and then I also had a bag of like jalapeno chips cause that's all I had for options. So I was like, well, Snacks for lunch. I'm eating the pickles, I get to the bottom of the bag. There's some in the bottom, but I don't wanna put my whole hand in there because then I'm gonna have a wrist full of like pickle juice, you know? You can't squeeze the bag and fill the pickle juice like moving around, it's not that much, but it is to the point where if I were to put my fingers all the way to the bottom of the bag, the pickle juice would, you know, it would be on my fingertips and I'm already touching the pickles. So instead I did the, take it from bottoms up. My mouth slipped where the bag was open. So the pickle juice dripped down my neck onto my jacket. So I went the rest of my shift feeling like I smell like pickle juice the whole time, which is why I took a shower before I talked to you, mainly. I just so badly wanted to take a shower. Eventually, I, I grabbed hand sanitizer and I put it on my neck so that I smelled like rubbing alcohol rather than pickle juice. It felt like I was bathing in fragrance and the fragrant was dill pickles. Ooh, that is popping, did you see that? So anyways, I killed my moment, I'm worrying about my potatoes. Other than that, my first day on the job was cake. Breeze to work is so fun and actually like very calm for the most part, unless like you are in a role of leadership, which I've had really good experiences in that case, but this last past experience, it's just not worth my time. As somebody who doesn't want to be a manager of any type of restaurant, it's not worth it at all because I hate telling people what to do. If you want to do it, okay. I don't. I, I literally could not care less. This is. I don't. I don't own this place. You not doing it is not bumping my paycheck. You know what I mean? So if you're a barista, a barista, and your sole work summary is make drinks, meet customer satisfaction, clean up after yourself, detailed things amongst those. You know, as long as that's the case, it is so easy. It is so fun. It's really enjoyable. It's a skill. So you literally can improve yourself in the skill if that's what you choose to. You don't have to be stagnant all the time. Unless your work environment pushes that on you, which is a no. 
Also, my job has really big windows to the outside. I really love big windows. I can't be in a very um, isolated and tight space while I'm working. I need breathing room. And that's a general thing for me in life. Any situation that I am, I, 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 I feel, I can't, let me backtrack. That was not how I wanted to go into that. Any situation that I'm in, in life, I need to feel like I can breathe. If I'm feeling like hovered, if I'm feeling claustrophobic in any type of way, I, it's not gonna work out for me. I need to be, I need freedom, freedom. That's a commercial of some sort. I don't remember for what, but it goes something like that. And like having big windows or an open space to the outside helps the energy feel expanded more than it is probably because you have, you're seeing, you're seeing the, the quater. Is quater not a word? Why do I feel like that's not a word? I hate when this happens to me because I really feel like I have something going on up here, but I'm actually not saying anything at all. And these are not real things I'm thinking of. Oh, equator. Bitch. You get the point. Nobody can be perfect. And I'm gonna find said a best. She'll always say a best. I gotta work it. And quite frankly, we all do. I'm preparing my bowl for the oily ass on, um, potatoes I just made. Something in my fridge smells funky and I gotta get to the bottom of it. Yesterday I threw out a can of tomato paste that I used almost a year ago. Probably, I'm not even like exaggerating. I kind of like, I've seen it, but it never dawned on me on how long that shit had been sitting in my fridge. And I finally realized like, throw this out. It's been in like in your fridge for like eight months and it had mold all in it. But there's something funky smelling in my fridge and I really need to take care of it. You guys see the problem here? I realized that I've only had, it hasn't even been two weeks yet. This has not even been two weeks and this has happened. Very sad, very concerning. I don't know why I, I'm gonna have a series on my channel of me just getting scared by my microwave. Avocado. A message to all the people who don't like avocado. Did you try? Unless it's a texture thing, cause I can see that and I understand. But if you don't like the taste of avocado, did you try? That's my question. Really ponder on it. Rice. Also, I reached 100 subscribers this morning. Thank you so much. Jess, if you're watching this, we made it, baby. We are here, we are thriving. 100, we have made it. 100 emoji, 100 emoji, 100 emoji. I mean, weird that, I don't know, I really love sauce, I'm a sauce person. And the, this is the only sauce that I have left. Would this be weird to put on rice, sweet potato, and avocado? Like, just a little bit? I also drizzled some honey on there. I do feel like it'll be weird. I'm gonna try it. I'm going in. Just like, Here she is. It's not looking good, it's not pretty, but you know what it will do? How do you say quench my thirst but for food? Cur carb my hunger. Carb, curb my hunger? How do you say that? What is that phrase? I had some of the honey mustard, it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good, I'm gonna put more. When I was younger, I used to mix my dipping sauce favorites were sweet and sour sauce, but if I didn't have sweet and sour sauce, I like to mix honey mustard and ketchup together. And um, I used to get so much side eyes from my teammates that grew up playing sports. I was a softball girly. During tournaments, me and my team, we would go out to eat a lot because that's like sport culture. And when the food came around and I put ketchup and honey mustard and literally mixed it all together, it's like the whole table stopped and stared at me. They all just turned their neck. They were like this. Meanwhile, I'm on the side of them opening up the bottle or like picking up my stuff to mix. And they're like this. The second I went to mix, and I'm like, it's good. So I've been a chef for a really long time in my life. There's a hair in my food. I've been breaking social norms for a very long time in my life. I think it's very freeing to be a barista and not drink coffee anymore. My camera's on overheat. Gotta give you a break. We'll talk in a second. I've returned. I even took a break from eating my dinner so that I can continue this moment with you because it's very important to me. You ever eating, like you're in the act of eating something, and your stomach is still, like you feel your stomach hungry. It's craving. Me right now. My favorite song right now is Poppy Bones by FKA Twigs and shy girl i'm saying it like this because i was struggled four times trying to say that sentence so i had to break it down and take it slow that song is so good and it keeps replaying in my head so catchy makes me want to move makes me want to groove i feel like i should get paid for checking my schedule it's work related i once had a job i once had an employer that told me that I might, meanwhile i was the supervisor. I wish I had an employer that told me we couldn't have a communication text group amongst the coworkers because we had to be careful about in intaking work information off the clock. But like she would 
they would text us off the clock all the time and like we have a schedule to read off the clock that felt really dumb it felt really stupid and it's even more so clarifying my view on i think i should get paid for the two moments that it takes for me to check my schedule every time i open the app it should log in moment wage or whatever but something's gotta be figured out here because there's no way we should continue checking our work schedule off the clock the one thing that's irking me the most about working two jobs at this point is like i mean aside from getting less time with focusing on myself and all that all of what that entails not being able to go to yoga every day and for the month of january too my yoga studio is having this like contest thing for the amount of classes that you go to by the end of January. And I've been coming out hot with the classes I've been taking. As per usual. Sorry, I'm like burping as I'm speaking. This is a thing. I don't stop for nobody. But I've been coming in hot with my work my um yoga consistency and it's come to an abrupt halt because i now have to be at work at a certain time and it's far far away like shrek i've been referencing shrek a lot lately and actually yesterday might have been today actually i saw a man with a shrek sweater that's all i have to share about that i just i keep referencing shrek and he appears in my life say his name three times and he appears like today is monday and i won't be able to go to yoga again until wednesday and that might sound very close to you but not to me i'm done and I'm kind of glad that I'm done so I'm bored of eating. I've had my dinner. I've taken my shower. I've taken my vitamins. I'm just going to brush my teeth, hang out with Neon, and go the fuck to sleep. I guess we're done. Also, do you like this? This pattern is so nice. Check it out. It's so good. I've actually had this for a long time. Probably my first six months of living in Portland. And it's a skirt. And it's so cute. And it reminds me of this brown, like skirt that i would also wear as a dress in like 2018 when i lived in when i was still at home i just brought it out of my closet the other day and now i'm obsessed with it again so i can't wait till whenever i need to look cute i'm gonna bust this shit out and i'm gonna put some nice boots on and i'm gonna strut on the streets looking like a fiery leopard and it has a cute little ruffle on the bottom i want to show you but i have trash right next to me so please don't judge me i have a cute little look i just pin it up kind of like this and then it gives a little leg gives a little ruffle it's just so cute and my behind looks gracious in it too well i'm done for the night i'm sleepy i was falling asleep on the max the good thing about having an hour commute to work one shot is that you can enter meditative states you can enter deep breathing states you can enter sleep state if you want to especially when it's your last stop it's the, the last stop of the train so it's not like you're gonna miss your stop so that's something to be thankful for. So I'm gonna catch some sleep and I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I didn't check in this morning, I was rushing. I hate rushing, I hate it so much. It's not fun for me, it's not a good look on me. I take my time and all that I do. Yeah, I hope you're well. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you so much. Thanks for getting me to 100 subscribers. I think that's so cool. There's 100 of you watching little old me. So sweet, so glamorous. Like I can't even imagine myself standing in front of a hundred people talking about nothing too. I just cannot. Even if half the people, if 50 people have watched this video today and I'm sitting here in a real room with real life people, I would, you know, I would literally black out. I would, wouldn't remember what I'm saying. Even though I kind of don't remember what I say in the first place, even with what we're doing here, my face would be red and flushed. My heart rate would be very heavy. And um, I would just, my brain, I wouldn't even know what I was saying. My brain would just throw out random words, like a generator. And it would just spew out nothingness. So thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being around. Talk to you soon. Bye.